Well, crews were out here all morning, but honestly, they finished very quickly. And to think that a little over a week ago, we were in this exact t spot talking to you about what was here. But take a look at this tunnel now. They have power washed this tunnel, bleached it out, and now they have put a barrier up so that no one can walk to and from. Around 7.15 this morning, crews made their way to this tunnel under Fort Washington Way. Time ran out for those who once lived in this tunnel. When we arrived, everyone was gone as far as those who were living here. A considerable amount of belongings were left behind, though. But city crews cleaned it up, power washed and bleached this space and put these fences up. We spoke with drivers who walk through this area all the time coming from that parking lot. They tell us that they're glad to see the space cleaned up. Homeless advocates were disheartened to see so many personal belongings left behind. People have rights. Even people experiencing homelessness have rights. Everyone has rights. They're human beings and they have a right to be safe and secure in their, in their uh, house. And this is their house. It's nice to see uh, it's cleaned up now. A lot of opposing views when it comes to this. Now, the city manager's memo last week indicated the city would have some kind of temporary housing available. We still haven't gotten the details on that. But on a side note, there have been quite a few people that we've talked to out here all week and last week that have gotten help, that have gotten housing, that have gotten jobs and into detox programs, about 30 and all. And so there has been some positive things happening from this project, but so many questions that have yet to still be answered. Reporting live, Alexis Rogers, WLWT News 5.